My name is Andrew Grace. I'm the course lead for BA Visual Communication Illustration. What I really like about teaching the course is seeing students develop and seeing their wit or humour evolve and emerge as well as their own unique creative style. As the class sizes are quite small it means you get more one-on-one -on -one time with the tutors so you can talk about anything and you're not having to wait for quite a while to see someone so that if there's something that you need to change or if you have an idea that you're sort of uncertain on you can always go to someone and they'll be happy to help you with whatever you you need really. The course is set across three years in the first year it's quite a technical based course where we start to look at um, things like techniques software etc but alongside that is also things like ideas generation concept development etc. In the second year, we start to branch out a little bit more and try and move students away from just thinking that illustration is based on paper um, and trying to get them to work on more 3D, 3D objects um, in more other adventurous ways, whether or not that's textiles or even moving into print. In the third year, it's really based around them as an individual. So although it's confined to kind of set briefs and modules, um, students will still have the freedom within them to explore their own personal interests and therefore it, the year then results in a final major project which gets presented as a final show. Over the three years I've learned more um, sort of practical skills so I've done a couple of different workshops with some of the tutors um, for example I work with Radiator Arts and we helped um, children make umbrellas for the Fat Tuesday festival that we have and that was quite interesting because you're you're helping someone and you're sort of teaching them how to do different bits and pieces and it's going in and it's being used for a festival so it's something productive. So the teachers that we have on the course are from a very wide and diverse range of backgrounds um, so they each bring their own unique take to illustration with them and they're here to work with the students to develop their own styles and not just duplicate the tutor's style that they're working with at the time. We find this really beneficial and it helps students to open up and explore other avenues of their own work and their own creativity to then get a truly unique style for them. So we have a wide variety of students that come to us, some with more traditional backgrounds in the illustration, some with more digital backgrounds. The course is open to all and what we try to do as we work through that course is to look at those alternative areas. So tutors will work with you to develop more t like kind of traditional techniques as well as tutors that work purely in digital formats. What we find is that we like to challenge the students and therefore push them from if they are a traditional based artist to being more of a digital, a digital one to help increase their skill sets um, and increase their employability when they leave the course. I, I think it's really good because you can go into any of the functioning workshops that we have for example we've got ceramics we've got printmaking and I, I've utilized them all many many times and it's something that other campuses don't necessarily offer their illustration students because they're they just think, oh, you can draw. They don't necessarily see the practicality of, you know, combining two different mediums together to create something new and better. And that's something you can do here. And it's something that I enjoy doing very much. If you're looking to study a BA illustration course, come to us. Our small classes uh, are great because you get to know the tutors, the tutors get to know you, and therefore we're really able to help you develop your own unique style of illustration to help you be individual in the creative industry.